So in context of all this, we went to court in 2008. We essentially challenged the privatization. So the same Justice Dinakaran, who unfortunately, you know, has met a different uh, uh, fate now. But at that time, you know, we didn't know. But he heard our case very well. And he connected, he said, you know, th there's something that he said, let there not be a future where a poor man shall see a lake through a fence. In a sense, he, it's a metaphor that he used to communicate that the court will not tolerate a commodification of the commons, right? So we had got an interim stay and all the privatization uh, of lakes had been stayed. So the other prayer that we had was, what do you do with the lake systems that are failing? If you don't protect them, the groundwater levels will fall. Half the city is sur sur surviving on groundwater. And if the density, the population density is rise, and the groundwater level falls, if these curves are inverse, then you are talking in the next 10 years of a major disaster in the making, in the uh, Bangalore region. And also, remember, the quality of the water was going down. And for the poor people, the amount of money they were spending on drinking water was increasing. So all these are not the right indicators for a city which wants to pride itself as the future city, right? So all these arguments went into the court. And uh, about a year ago, the court uh, took a very unique decision. It asked one of its own judges to add a committee. And uh, just as N.K. Patil was requested, he agreed. And uh, this is his letter. And these are the members of the committee. Now, if you look at each of the members, they are by name. They're not by designation. This was a decision Justice uh, N.K. Patil took. He said, gone are the days when I will value the commitment made by the agency. I want personal commitment from you as serving officers of the government. So sign this document with your name on it. So BBMP, BDA, Minor Irrigation Department, Lake Development Authority, Town Planning, Water Supply, Forest, uh, State, everyone is there, Revenue Department, which is a very critical department. And uh, we were, as petitioners, enlisted into the committee, and we were asked to draft a policy for protection of all the lakes of Bangalore. So firstly, enumerate how many lakes there are. So they enumerated, they found that, you know, there are annexes to this. You can download this report from a website. There are 600 lakes in the built area of Bangalore of 2,000 square kilometers, of which they first, for the first time admitted, 150 have disappeared. Okay, they've named them and also given what it is now. It's very funny to read that. They'll say Kalyan Mantap, bus stand. Uh, uh, one is a Bhagmane Park, which is actually S.M. Krishna's son-in-law's, you know, the guy who has all these coffee day outlets. Uh, so, you know, they go on to enumerate all this. But there are 450 lakes left, right? And uh, what we proposed was to, they asked us to develop guidelines, which we did. And uh, these guidelines are now binding because this report has become part of the court order, right? Since February last year, every three months, each of these agencies has to file a compliance report. And uh, no more privatization as a policy has been abandoned. In fact, uh, the committee has called it colonization of common property resources for private profit. And they said it is not part of state policy. So this committee's report is now to be debated in Karnataka's High Court before the principal division bench on 24th of February. Of course, Obira is, uh, you know, obviously not like that report. They have filed 500 pages of objections. Uh, and of course, the other parties also will similarly flood the court with papers. Uh, so it's to be seen what would be the decision of the High Court on the only remaining aspect, whether the privatization of lakes is part of public policy. That's the only aspect which is there. Otherwise, this report has now become binding. And uh, there are a lot of illustrations with this report, and you can download it. Uh, uh, we are hoping that uh, uh, there, this report will have persuasive value uh, across many states of, Kana uh, of India. Already in Tamil Nadu, we, I, I, I was in Coimbatore speaking about this. Salem people are interested. Wherever there are tank systems, in district levels. We want people to use this and come up with their own solutions. You can't wait for the government now to you know, fix its regulatory systems and its administrative systems because people are dying of what? For what? Right? There are actual conflicts on the streets in every city for drinking water. Right? So they want to see this happen much sooner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think it's very nice to uh, listen to these cases, but these cases are everywhere. It's not only Kaveri, it's uh, all over the country, it's the same situation. We have to find solutions which are, which are applicable everywhere and uh, not through the PILs, because if you have a good uh, group in one place, PIL might be there, but there are many such areas where there's nobody putting a PIL. 
and uh, that that is not a solution that is not a long term permanent solution so we need to really look at what are the possible solutions which we need to take up as a society and uh, having uh, thought on these lines i feel that the one thing which we need to really bring out is to put the information in the public domain for the societal pressures to be built and not only the information which is which is one time affair keep on putting what you are doing to the the various spaces what you are do, how you are trying to develop the water further and that is one requirement now since we are doing the development at a pace which is which we have not seen in the last uh, uh, decades the development levels are increasing day by day on various pressures the population pressure the industrialization pressure the urbanization pressure and we also have to really bring a uh, uh, connect between the problems which are in urban areas and the problems which are in the rural area because the system is same is the same river system which is feeding both these these users so we uh, need to have the science base really developed which should be used to make the public understand and participate what is happening to the systems so we need to have a pressure put either we can make use of the scientific communities and the the groups which are the educational institutions they should participate in this effort of looking at what is what was the pristine state of the river systems how much we have already developed how much we have over developed looking at what is the possible areas where we can um, bring back the the demand do the demand management whether is cities maybe going to the reuse you might not go to the tertiary level but still if you look at most of the the requirement in the cities is not drinking water is is the water which is used for other purposes also so that is where you might need to invest in two system the drinking water uh, pipeline separate than the so you can recycle the the water which is treated at the the secondary level and then use that that will bring down your demand the the city demand by around 60% or so that's a huge uh, uh, way forward and we need to also look at the savings to be done in the agriculture area there's a lot of uh, efficiency problems there and put the pressure in terms of uh, first requirement in all the systems is how we bring back how you restore the systems which we have deteriorated on account of the groundwater mining or on account of diversions i think that is where that is one area where uh, a debate has to be started and that debate can only start if you have the information in front of you you have those kind of uh, flows what were the previous flows what is the flows and that's that's doable i think uh, we for one we are taking some steps in that direction at iit delhi and uh, i'm sure that if we join hands if we try to put this information and uh, put it in a domain which is visible to anybody then you can focus on those areas locally and also look at what it means to the system because local action sometime can be detrimental to the system you might feel that yes locally this is what your requirement is but how much damage is doing to the system as a whole whether it is a case of uh, rejuvenation of the tanks which the i mean uh, i'll tell you the a funny story uh, that that period when uh, these two projects were funded by the world bank one was the rejuvenation of the tanks the other was the the sujala project which is the uh, watershed management so we took a, a area in uh, kolar district a combination of five tanks and we used the modeling and uh, tried to showcase that the rejuvenation of tanks in those tanks which are the old irrigation tanks is not going to do any good because is not going to receive that water which you are expecting to come in because of you are overdoing the watershed management program in that area because the, curta the curtailment of the catchment has taken place uh, these two programs are both funded by the government by the world bank and those two groups are not talking to each other they are not even willing to analyze that what the, what is happening to the system so those are the issues where you need to really bring in the science and try to use the net is very strong now there was a time when in our society the peer pressure was the local pressure 
the religion was playing a role now people are not scared of anything the 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 corruption is there because there's no transparency nobody is knowing that who's doing what what kind of decision they are taking how the water allocation is being done if you put pressure and do independently also parallelly the society can also create those systems that okay this is the data and now the ministry of water resources has at least declared on paper that the the basic data will become visible so at least the 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 analysis can be started at some level the there. yeah subject to national security of course uh, all those things are connected i mean you you cannot separate these issues they are they are uh, issues which are very very closely connected to each other so i think uh, we have to really think in terms of solutions which are not dependent on the individual groups working at some uh, individual level and then trying to take action and if there is a good group then uh, that that area is really being served and the other areas are not being served similarly we need to put pressure on the ministry of environment and forest i was sitting in some of the committees where uh, i was asked to look at some of the projects mega projects and uh, when it comes to looking at the source of information we were dependent on the consultants who were making the presentation that this is what is the local situation of water availability in those areas how you can depend on the information which is being provided by those people who are who are uh, basically trying to put the project you have to have a independent source which is not stagnating is updated you should uh, put all the information what you have already put the projects which you have already cleared what is the impact of those projects how much water has already been allocated there are uh, I mean this is not the only area where uh, the thermal power plants are being uh, they are being allowed if you look at maharashtra you look at um, jharkhand all those areas there are hundreds of thermal power plants which are coming up so we are analyzing another area in maharashtra we were trying to see that uh, what are the prop proposed um, thermal power plants and we are trying to look at that system what is already existing what is the flow available what is the demands of the existing uh, system but that is uh, everybody has to start from ab initio that is the zero level we have to remove that zero level and bring the information the baseline in place where the societal pressure can be put and people can be made to participate in looking at what is the present situation and what will be the implication of your further demand further uh, uh, level of development of all kinds put together thank you just want to add one thing sir which you missed out uh, i didn't miss out but uh, i think it's relevant to what you said uh, 